What's up guys, your boy Random Kess here. And just listen to this for a minute. Just take a moment and take in this scene. Now, this is really beautiful to me. And from, from the minute I'm greeted with this screen, I feel immersed. The waterfall, the queen over there playing with her toy, and it's just a welcoming screen, including the message at the bottom. It makes me think the developers and the people that surround this game put a lot of work into it. Keep that in mind. They put a lot of work into this game. This game, in my opinion, is a mix between Dragon, Dragon Ness, and Crusaders of Light. Two games that I play. It's like a mix between those. The mix is the character looks better than the characters in Dragon Ness. It looks much better than the characters in Dragon Ness. It's not a full open um, open world, but it's close enough. Let's check out some of these outfits. Um, I didn't even know outfit gives you stats, but you learn something every day. Okay. You could buy them. Since we're talking about buy, let's go. The game does have a VIP system. And I hate games with VIP system usually. So I decided, let me try to see what this VIP system gives you. These are some of the, bun um, the benefits you get from the VIP system. Not really much stamina, gold. I'm sure it goes up from that. I can't uh, scroll past to see what else benefits you get, but it doesn't look like it gives you anything that gives you a great leaps and bounds. Ooh, somebody joining my guild. Finally, I got somebody. To oh snap! I got two people, a male and a female. If you two want to join my guild, here's the name, Crazy Elves, and yeah, join my guild, but yeah, I don't think they're going to stay. Nobody stays in my guild, but anyways, this game, what do you need to know? It's beautiful. It's hands down beautiful. It's a game I was not looking forward to, but... I am pleasantly surprised by it. It has a lot of bugs on the initial launch day. It's only two days old. It has a lot of bugs that they're working out, but it's well worth giving it a shot. You would not regret it. Let me turn off the music. Yeah. It's well worth giving it a shot. Um, as you level up in this game, more options open up. I love games that you could just move stuff apart and you get your whole screen open. Your whole entire screen open. Look at that. To see what's going on and it don't clutter you with information overwhelm. That you don't know what the hell to do. It gives you a, a screen. And that's it. And this is. This game accepts Bitcoin. It's crazy. Yeah but this. You could pay in Bitcoin for this game. So they, they really put a lot of thought into it. Um, You first get into this game. You're not going to be greeted with all of these screens. You're not going to get all these information. They pop up as you level up. I'm only level what. 28. Right. And, you know, you're not going to see everything here. 
right? I didn't get that far in, in um, in the chapter, but check it out. Check out some of my awesome moves. Thanks for the shield, buddy. I gotta concentrate a little bit because I'm trying to get 80%. Now you can switch between skills when they cool down. I got a chain skill and I got this one and a knife skill. Let's walk up to you and slash. so long to die. I just wasted that skill on him. One thing I forgot to mention, you could stun enemies and stop them from attacking, which is pretty cool. Every time the boss tried to do his ult, you just stun him and knock him out of his ult. Pretty cool. That's how the chapter flow, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see if I could do a dungeon. No, dungeon that close. Uh, towers. Towers is... Pretty nice. I like how towers are set up. Shows you all the boss on this floor. And you just go through them one by one. Pretty sweet. All the bosses are unique. They got their own... Yeah, they got their own whatever they got going on. Pretty cool. Oh, 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 you can't cut that. Oh, right. He's chipped with his arrow. Oh, why are you beating up on my dog? 
hate these checks, man. They use range. Anybody use range, I hate them. Come on, group up. Now there's four characters in this game, two male and two female. Oh, I finished the floor. Super. Oh, yeah, this floor looks super strong. Yeah. And they always give you diamonds. What can I buy? What can I buy? I'm saving up to buy this outfit. Yeah, that outfit looks hot. I'm saving up to buy that. But, yeah. Who's inviting me? Uh, not right now. Trying to do a video here. But yeah, it's, it's really an all around beautiful game. Uh, some of the bad right now that's going on, uh, as it just released, some server issues, you might have trouble logging in. Uh, <laughs> definitely hackers. All these Chinese hackers, they're on every game. Let me show you an example of this. Arena. Look at this dude. This dude right here. Look at his gear. His power is 58,000. How the hell is he number one when the guy with 300k, right, is below him? It's making no sense. Making no sense. So there's a lot of hackers on this game right now. People, A lot of people like the game, but there's people that just want to hack and just do crazy stuff. And the max level for anybody right now is 35. You know, after that, it gets really, really hard to level up. You know? Uh, in Arena, it's you versus the computer. But there are some PvP moods uh, that you could uh, partake in. The fastest way to level up, I'll tell anybody this, the fastest way to level up is just do the chapters. Just do the chapters, three star it, and then blitz after that. It's a very populated game, as you can see. There's a lot of people on here. Um, it's definitely worth giving it a try. Definitely, definitely worth giving it a try. It's a sleeper. It's an MMO you did not want, but an MMO that if you play it, you're definitely going to fall in love with it because they put a lot of work into this MMO. They did. They really did. You could see it, you know, just by traversing the area and see how things are. You know, this is my status right now. Nothing fancy. A couple different mounts. Ooh, look at that cutie. You got a few more to unlock, and each one of them give you special bonuses. Seen somebody with that one. I think I've seen somebody with that one. Ooh, what the hell? Okay, cool. Pretty sure you could upgrade your weapon later on, too. Cool. Yeah, that's just the overview of my adventures at day two in this game. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more I need to unlock. But as it stands right now, I am just want to say it's a pretty cool game. Right? These are some of the dungeon bosses. 
Like every dungeon boss, you gotta learn their mechanic. Which one? Somebody's doing. Probably this one. But yeah, learn their mechanic. Work with your teammates. Uh, another negative I don't like, when you chat in, they gives you 10 free chat. And there's only world, guild, and that's it. Anytime you want to talk to someone, you got to add them to your friends list. And your friends list becomes ridiculously long and ridiculously big. And you don't have enough time to scroll on, see, and talk to everybody. But it's good to have friends because some... Um, you get friendship points for one, and two, uh, some of these, uh, some of these, uh, things you're gonna have to do requires you to do it with your friend. So, if you got a partner, perfect, this game is perfect for you. You got everything you're gonna see. What the hell? Why are you guys all piled up here? Yeah, you got everything you're gonna need. You got dance, you can invite people to dance. You got you got dinner, I guess. And yeah. Pretty solid game. Pretty pretty solid. I got a solid thumbs up for me. You know? Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And please. Join crazy else. It's Christmas. Let's all be elves together. Random out.